421 of 2019. Well, it's running again. Here's the problem. The uh, Darlington that was in there, the TIP, TIP 122. It's rated 5 amps at 60 volts. I replaced it with a 2SD 1670. Now the HFE on the uh, 122 is 2500. This one has an HFE of 1000. Not quite as high, but this one's rated at 150 volts. Uh, 10 amps. This little shit here, now I ran it at 2 amps for quite a while. So, what, what would happen to it, it still worked up to a point. If it got above 64 degrees by any means, it would just more or less short out. So it had to be extra cool, and it took me a heck of a long time to realize that. I went through everything on that board. So I decided it either was the chip, which I couldn't find nothing wrong, and I measured this. I pulled it out, measured it, found nothing wrong with it. And like I said, it would work as long as it didn't even get slightly warm. It would measure okay. But that was the problem. I don't know if you would call this an improvement or not. It's running at 9 volts, 1.96 amps. It would normally run at 12 volts at 1.96 amps. I've got the same output, but I've got a lower voltage at the same current for the same output. So I don't know if you would call that efficient or not, getting too close to that doggone machine. This shield works great. It's uh, nothing really coming off of it. Getting near these wires. Nothing really caught coming off of it, but these will have to be mounted internally. This still can get so far. And it's picking up the high voltage. But alright, nothing else has changed. Still got the .02 cap on here. It's a 3,000 3, volt. I've got a uh, uh, that coil. I think that's a uh, I think I'm only running 48 millihenry on that. I'm only using one side. The other ones were too much. If you remove it, it'll just It'll just start flashing. So that smooths it out. It looks like a pink fog in there. That's what that actually looks like. It's The streamers are gone. Now if this camera don't shut off. I'll shorten up an out touching it. But yeah, this looks like a pink fog in there now. A very light fog, but a pink fog. So yeah, I believe that's the separations of the electric and magnetic fields in there that you see this coming off of the uh, ferrites. I'm still running the six caps. That's the induction coil. 
Now I moved the spark gap and made it more efficient. I've got a steel rod cupped going on to a neodymium ball magnet that's pressed inside. Oh yeah, I'll just shut the thing off. That is pressed inside of that uh, fitting. And that's my spark gap. So it's you can call it magnetically quenched, but it's coming right off the caps. No extraneous wires. This is just an extra wire running from one end to the other. So is this one. It's just a ground wire. Didn't have nowhere to put this because I'm not using it no more, but it's attached onto these other ones. So I moved it there. This wiring here will have to be cleaned up. But, uh, it runs. It's a 15 watt aquarium bulb. So that's uh, what the problem was. That's why I couldn't find nothing wrong with it. As soon as it got a little warmed up, it would uh, open up inside or short, start shorting out inside. The new Smithsonian ball globe runs on batteries, runs on six volt and a half batteries, double A's, oh triple A's, double A's, and they've shrunk it down to this board. They removed the numbers off of the uh, timer chip. There's no numbers on that. There's a number on this little one. But I think that's for the on-off switch. This transformer came out of that one. That's good. I tried it in this globe. It works. The problem was this at Darlington. So it got stressed somewhere along the line. Even though it's a 5 amp, it got stressed. And uh, I had a heat sink on it. And I've got a fan. But it got stressed somewhere along the line and uh, decided to stop working. Well, they've got a smaller one in here. I haven't looked up these numbers yet. But I'm going to assume that too is a Darlington. But uh, yeah, they've shrunk this down. What I'm thinking about doing is... Uh, stacking these transformers. The exact same transformer, but if I stack them, since that globe cost $25, got it from Target. That's where I got these from, Target. And if I stack these, I'll be able to pull probably 3 amps without having to worry about something burning up in one of these transformers. I hesitate about pushing this more than two amps for any length of time. Same thing, got a microphone, but it's uh, reduced down to this. So that's the story.